in this video, I'm going to be giving you my review as a beginner animator on the animation program Toon Boom Harmony. My old free program that I've been using for animation was crashing a lot, had buggy drawing tools, and my process of making that work was overall pretty time consuming. That's why I've been considering investing in a paid program, namely Toon Boom. Toon Boom Harmony is the industry standard for animation, making it a good tool to learn if I want to potentially work in a studio job. Its lowest tier is cheaper than Adobe Animate at only $12 a month, and I've heard great reviews on it. This is what led me to download a three-week free trial of Toon Boom Harmony Essentials, and I've been playing around with it, and even created the short animated parody when Ari misses Charm. In this review, I'll be giving you my thoughts on the different features and the challenges on Toon Boom Harmony to give you an idea of whether the software is for you. Let's get started. One of the main reasons I wanted to try out Harmony was because the lowest tier was cheaper than Adobe Animate. It's only $12 a month compared to Adobe Animate's $20 a month, because with Adobe Animate, you have to get it through a subscription to the Adobe Creative Suite. And if you're a student with Toon Boom, and you don't have to be an animation student, if you're running to any school, then you can actually get a student discount for Toon Boom for only $6 a month. Problem with this is that you can't monetize anything you make with a student discount, and if I might want to potentially monetize my YouTube videos in the future and with a student discount, then I couldn't do this. So if you want to learn Toon Boom, but you don't really care about monetization, then this is a great option. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the actual animation prospects. Oh, and by the way, many disclaimer, I don't claim to know this program very well. These are simply my thoughts from the perspective of a beginner animator. So yeah. So, as you can see in this speed paint right speed animate actually right here, this is the Toon Boom interface, and I'll be talking about the different features on it. And if you want to learn Toon Boom afterwards, if you like have decided to get it, or at least the free trial, then there are tons of tutorials. This is not a tutorial. I personally use the one by Jesse J. Jones. Link in the description, and honestly, it was the most helpful thing ever. Okay, so let's just start talking about navigation. The main navigations on the stage are spacebar to kind of move your canvas, one to zoom out, two to zoom in, and shift M to kind of reset your canvas. And um, these are just some of the main ones. There's a few more. And honestly, these keys are perfect. They just see, feel so natural. And after I um, did my short parody animation in Toon Boom, I was drawing the thumbnail for it in Fire Alpaca. And I kept accidentally using, pressing the 1 and 2 and to like zoom in and zoom out, but Viral Packet doesn't have the same keys, so it's doing weird stuff. But it, they seriously feel so natural. Um, anyway, take away from navigation in Toon Boom, it's pretty good. Moving on to the drawing tools, this part is like one of the most important parts to me because one of the reasons my old animation program didn't work too well for me was the drawing program was buggy. And what I had to do was I had to draw every frame for the animation in my drawing program, export each one, then import each one into the animation program, and then sing it to the audio. And of course, first, this added a lot more time to create my animation. And also, it made it kind of harder to edit my animation if something looked off. So having a good drawing tool is really important to me. And I would say that Toon Boom definitely does. Toon Boom has a brush and a pencil tool as two main um, features. And honestly, the pencil tool is kind of useless because in the cheap version, the one that I have, Toon Boom Harmony Essentials, it has no pen pressure. And I really want pen pressure for my line art, so I have no use really for the pencil tool. But the brush tool is great. Um, you can change a lot of the settings on it, so that's pretty cool. But also, it feels really nice. And... It feels super natural, and I feel like I can draw all of my line art with it. So, like, I can totally use it for all of my animations. And it makes the strokes like you want it to. It, it doesn't do any weird stuff. So, also, Toon Boom is vector-based. And although I know a lot of animation programs are, it adds a lot of really cool um, features. First of all, if you zoom into your lines, then they don't lose any of the quality. So, I guess that's pretty cool. Um... Also, after you draw a line, you can edit it a bit, which is, I guess, useful, but honestly, I don't really use it that much because I would rather just redraw my lines. But sometimes being able to edit your line is pretty useful. Um, and then one tool that is just 
really cool that Toon Boom has, and I'm I'm pretty sure that Adobe Anime doesn't have it, is the cutter tool. And it's just so I, I, I it's so good. Um so for example, if you draw two lines and you accidentally overlap one of them, then you can just chop off that overlapped part because since it's vector based, the um, Toon Boom can detect when they're overlap overlapping. So you can just chop the part off. And when you're doing line art, it makes the process much faster, much cleaner, and seriously is so helpful. So yeah, amazing um, feature. I'm really happy that they included that. Okay, so let's move on to coloring. So since Toon Boom is vector based, as I've said already, Coloring is much better than in a drawing program that is not vector-based. Because in a drawing program that's not vector-based, you have to draw your line art on one layer, and then you have to go to another layer under it, and then color in your line art there. And, I mean, there's different ways you can do that, but, like, sometimes if you use the fill bucket, then it will leave, like, kind of white lines. And there's ways to get around it, but it's a, a little time-consuming. But here, since it's vector-based, the computer can perfectly like fill in those lines and all you have to do is you select the bucket tool and then you get your color and you just fill it in and it fills it in perfectly and it's all in one layer and this makes coloring much faster and definitely that is needed for animation because animation takes a very long time um but talking about the coloring tool it at first it's a little confusing. At first, I didn't really like it. I was like, this is kind of confusing. I don't really get it. But after using it a bit, I'm like, oh my god, this is like the best thing ever. Um, so basically, the way that Toon Boom works in terms of coloring is you have different palettes. And inside of those palettes, you have to like choose colors and then name them. And to color anything and use any colors, you have to choose the color and then name it. And this might seem like a lot of extra work, but if you work like with characters, and those characters have different palettes, this actually keeps you very organized. Make sure you always use the right color. Like, I like to be able to name my colors. Like, I have a character, I name the palette by the name of that character, and then inside that palette, I can choose the colors that I want, and then I can name them like skin, hair, um, clothes, blah, 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 and it's really helpful in keeping me organized. So that's cool. But another thing about it is it makes it a lot easier to change the color. So let's say you do an entire animation and you color the character in with this, like maybe their shirt is red and you color their shirt in red, right? And then afterwards you're like, oh no, I want this shirt to be blue. But you don't want to have to recolor every single one. And you don't have to because all you have to do is you have to go to the color setting. So you have to go inside the palette. You go to the um, color that you have and you probably named it like shirt. And then you it's red right now, but all you have to do is change it to blue. And then every single thing that you colored in with that color um, automatically changes to blue. And this is major time saver. So this is a really cool feature. And personally, this coloring works well for me. And it works well since I work in characters and palettes and stuff. So I think it is seriously the <laughs> really good. So overall, Toon Boom Drawing Tools, 10 out of 10. Pretty good. Okay, so I said a lot of good stuff about Toon Boom, but there are also some negatives on Toon Boom. So first, let's talk about the timeline. It's kind of important because the timeline is one of the most important things when you're animating. Uh, I don't really like the timeline. I mean, it's not totally terrible, but uh, let me explain. So, the way the timeline works is there's, like, different cells in the timeline, and then whenever you select one of the cells and you start kind of drawing, then that becomes one of the frames in the animation. And if you want a specific frame to go on for a few different cells, like, it to be the same frame for maybe three cells, then you can, all you have to do is extend the exposure, and exposure is where you do right click, and then extend exposure, and then, the, and then the keyframes. The keyframes are for like motion, so if you want to like select the whole drawing and then move from one place to another, that's like the keyframe. And 
The thing is, whenever you have two keyframes, there's automatically a tween in between them. And this is honestly pretty annoying because I don't usually do tweening, and sometimes I want to move the drawing with the keyframe, but, and if I have like two keyframes, I don't want them to have a tween in between, but it's okay because I can set it to become a stop motion keyframe, but I had to do it for every single one, that, so that becomes kind of annoying. Okay, so the final thing that I will be talking about in Toon Boom is lip syncing. And lip syncing in Toon Boom, there's pros and cons. So, I guess this can be counted as a pro and a con, but basically, whenever you draw something in Toon Boom, it's automatically saved as a symbol for that layer, which makes lip syncing a little easier, because all you have to do is make a new layer called like lip sync or mouth, and then you fill in all those cells with your lip sync positions, and they're automatically all symbols that you can switch out with each other. So that's good. But if you want to do a little more complicated stuff in lip syncing, like sometimes you want to like squish one of the mouths a little bit, or if like an arm is covering a bit of the mouth, then you want to erase the part um, like that's on top of the arm. But if you do that, then it will change every single other mouth that like, yeah, let's see if the an open mouth, right? If you change one open mouth, it will change every single other open mouth. And that's not very good. But I mean, I guess there are a few ways to get around this, but I think it's a little confusing. So lip sync, it's okay. And I do know that lip, um, Toon Boom also has a auto lip sync thing. So I don't think it works that well, but it can definitely save you a lot of time. So if that's something that you wanna try, then I'd lip sync is probably a good option. Anyway, so that was my review. I hope you liked it and now have a little insight on the different features um, in Toon Boom and if they're for you and what to expect if you want to try it out and like one of the what are some of the challenges you might face with Toon Boom. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so since there's still a little bit of time left in the speed animate, I'm just gonna talk about it a little bit. So the speed animation that I made here, it's just a short little animation of me like drawing and blinking <laughs> and um, this actually took like way more time than expected like it seemed like a really simple animation but I kept redoing stuff because I went into it without really knowing what like my animation was gonna be so I didn't really, really uh, plan it out very well so I had to keep changing it but I had a fun time animating it and also, so here I kind of did like a different style in terms of the face. Like, as you can see, the nose is a bit different and the eyes are different. I like how this looks, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on if you think I should keep animating it in this style or I should stick with my old style for animation. And this one is a little, I think, a little easier for me to draw. Um, since the eyes are a bit simpler in this style. So it might, like, make my animations come out faster. Um, so what happened was I originally made, like, a finished animation of this. Um, but then, as you saw, I kind of went back and redid that arm right there. Because originally it looked kind of weird. Because first the, the fore, not the forearm, the top part of the arm, it wasn't really moving. And that made it look a little unnatural. And um, the mar part of the arm that was moving, it was a little squiggly and it's just kind of weird looking. So I changed it up and I really like how it looks now. And I also tried to add more principles of animation into that um, animation. And I think it looks a lot more smooth now. And it's, I really like how it looks. So, yeah. Anyway, here is the finished animation. I hope you like it. Okay, so let's move on to the end card. Um, well, this was a different video than the ones that I usually do, but I hope you still liked it. And yeah. Also, thanks for a thousand subscribers. I have that now, it's kind of crazy. Oh, and by the way, my raffle that I did for 500 subscribers, I chose the winners for that. And I'm planning on making a video where I um, draw, like, 
draw the winner's uh, drawings. Yeah. But um, <laughs> editing all this stuff is a lot harder than I thought. So it might be a while before that comes out or it might never come out because getting all this editing stuff is hard. <laughs> Like, this video is kind of hard as well to get all the editing with. Okay, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you later.